बिसमीम अल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम साबर हसनैन योर साइंस सब्जेक्ट टीचर फ्राम ग्रेड एट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन एंड पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी एट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज अ बेस base is actually a substance that is used to neutralize an acid okay uh, in previous video we discussed whenever uh, we add metal oxides so metal oxides are insoluble bases and alkalis are soluble bases so all those substances which neutralize the effect of acid those are called bases question second question what do scientists call a soluble base as as in the first question i said told you alkalis are the soluble bases so the scientists they call an alkali as a solid now the third question describe how would you make a copper sulfate crystal although we already discuss the method in the book uh, in the lecture if you remember that in that lecture uh, along with the images i told you first we add copper oxide with sulfuric acid in the beaker and provide a small amount of heat to uh, to them to the solution to just to warm it okay so first we have to add copper oxide with the sulfuric acid solution and if you remember the second figure over there we discussed when the warm copper oxide dissolve and the solution then further add a small amount of copper oxide and in fact there would be a time that no further copper oxide will dissolve into the solution when no further copper dioxide will be dissolved into the solution it means uh, that that acid actually is neutralized okay and that all the acid amount all the acid used in that uh, in that beaker is used up okay if you remember that the third step in third step we discussed uh, that uh, the extra or the excess copper oxide is removed by the filtration okay so the amount of copper oxide which is not used during the chemical reaction due to the excess that will be removed by filtration and then and in the last step we learn the filtrate uh, is carefully heated because uh, whenever acid reacts with metal oxide we get metal salt and water so water is mixed in that metal salt so we evaporate water from there and when we evaporate water uh, then we will get uh the blue crystal of co <coughs> copper sulfate um true when water is evaporated during the reaction by providing heat the fourth question although we already discussed the same question again and that is write write the word equation for the bet reaction between copper oxide and sulfuric acid which is very easy we already know about this whenever sulfuric acid reacts with copper oxide it gives us copper sulfate and water so on the left side we have reactants one is acid another one is oxide so whenever acid reacts with oxides metal oxide it gives us metal salt and water and we know about the chemical equation as well and that chemical equation is h2so4 is sulfuric acid copper oxide is C cuo 
and it gives us copper sulfate which is CuSO4 plus water which is H2O and we learned this uh, in previous two videos regarding this spe specific topic and now in the last question what salt will be made when lead oxide reacts with the hydrochloric acid this is very important thing if you remember the name how how we name the salts over there we we'll learn one thing whenever hydrochloric acid it means chlorine is there HCl okay so when Cl is there here we have lead oxide and lead is metal and oxide for definitely oxygen so lead and chlorine will give us when lead oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid it makes a salt which is lead chloride so whenever the chlorine will be there we will use the word chloride for salt and lead which is from the lead oxide so if you remember lead is pb and chlorine is cl this is how uh, both reacts 